Hey there, Toons! Coach Z here with another video. Get out your handkerchiefs for this one. You're going to see some Toons go sad. This video is about preventing cogs from causing you damage, which is the best way to survive a fight. How do you prevent a cog from causing damage? Three ways. One, destroy the cog in one round. A destroyed cog cannot hurt you. Two, lure the cogs. A lured cog cannot attack and cannot hurt you. Three, Hurry your attack when a cog is coming out of the elevator in a building. Now, watch this video carefully. This one is with Fat Peanut Pickle Pop. This is a five-story lawbot building in the Berg. On the first floor, first cog. Everyone uses throw together, and the cog goes down. Very good. Believe it or not, Toons, what you just saw was the high point in the fight. It goes downhill from here. Uh-oh, a second cog on this first floor. This building is going to be harder than we thought. Three use squirt, and one uses throw, and the cog does not go down. Next round, the dog uses lure, and rabbit uses sound. The rabbit gets what he deserves for using sound on a lured cog. The cog gets destroyed on the next attack. On to the second floor. Dog uses a small lure, and rabbit uses tune-up. The rabbit was the only one hurt. Tune-up won't do him or his teammates any good at all. On to the third floor. Dog is down only 15 of his 54 laugh, and he is calling for a tune-up. Well, we have two loose cogs and one on the way. If everyone hurries, we can get rid of the two, lure the approaching one, and then do tune-ups. But do they hurry? No. Only Peanut gets his gag choice in before the third cog arrives, and the dog cries for another tune-up. So when only one goes down, the dog cries for another tune-up. Yeah, yeah, they all need tune-ups. Shut up already. At this point, all Peanut can do is do the tune-up and hope the others take care of the cogs. They do their best, but there is still one left to do damage, and another comes out of the elevator. Now is the time to hurry and get rid of that one, so we only have one to deal with. The cat hurries, but the rabbit and the dog don't. What part of hurry did they not understand? And the dog wonders why he keeps needing tune-ups. And the rabbit does sound again. Do you get the feeling that the rabbit thinks that you have to use sound when you face more than one cog? Note that if the rabbit had used sound before the second cog arrived, nobody would have gotten hurt. But as it is, the rabbit gets hit with ten more. So the cat uses lure, the dog and peanut use squirt to get rid of the cog, and the rabbit chooses... Sound? Tunes, please. The phrase, don't use sound on lured cogs, has a meaning. Learn it. On to the fourth floor. And what's the first thing the dog says? I need a tune-up. He's only down 17, same as the cat. Peanut is down 44. Shut up about the tune-up and fight. Peanut picks a storm cloud because it is far easier to hit than a birthday cake. Everyone should be doing squirts. But the dog and the rabbit choose throw. Which miss. And three more come out. Now, more than ever, they need to hurry. But the rabbit doesn't. Now we are facing four instead of one. Nice going, rabbit. Oh, and he chooses sound. How did I know that was coming? And they get hit bad. And immediately, the rabbit pulls out sound again, even after Peanut tried to pull out lore, so everyone could get tuned up. What is this rabbit thinking? All Peanut can do is pull out the foghorn and hope that works. And the dog cries for another tune-up. We know already. Shut up. And the sound is not enough. Thanks, rabbit. And the cat goes sad. And another cog shows up. Now we have to lure and tune up and everyone has to hurry. So the first thing Peanut pulls out is a lure. And the stupid rabbit pulls out sound. You stupid, stupid, stupid rabbit. And does the dog hurry so we don't have a fourth cog? No, you stupid, stupid, stupid dog. Look, Toons, the lure worked. Had the others passed or done tune-ups, we would be safe. But because the rabbit insisted on sound, first the rabbit goes sad. And because the dog did not hurry, the last cog makes the dog and peanut go sad. So what did we learn from this video? Lots of things, but two things primarily. Don't use sound on Lord Cogs. The times when it is okay to use sound on Lord Cogs is rare. If you insisted on not using sound even in those situations, no one will fault you. So until you know when those times are, don't use sound on Lord Cogs. Number two, hurry means hurry. 
in a building when the cogs come out of the elevator. It is almost always better to hurry and pick a gag than to wait for the arriving cog. When someone says hurry, they mean hurry! That's it for this week, Tunes. See you next time.